The examination of the groin, hernial orifices and male external genitalia are clinical examinations which undergraduate medical students are commonly less confident about performing competently due to a lack of clinical exposure. This DVD will demonstrate the relationship between the anatomy of the region and the corresponding physical examination. In order to fully understand the anatomy of this region, a good place to start is with the embryological descent of the gonads and the structures involved in this process. The fetal testes descend from the lumbar region of the posterior abdominal wall between weeks 9 and 12 of gestation. This descent is guided by the gubernaculum, a fibrous cord that projects to the final destination of the testes, the scrotum. A hernia is defined as the protrusion of any structure from one area through a boundary wall into another. In relation to the groin exam, there may be weakness in the abdominal wall that allows for gut to pass out of the abdominal cavity and so cause a lump under the skin. There are three main types of hernia associated with the groin. These are direct inguinal, indirect inguinal and femoral hernias. This structure is bordered medially by the rectus abdominis muscle, inferiorly by the inguinal ligament and superior laterally by the inferior epigastric artery. Femoral hernias pass inferior to the inguinal ligament through a structure called the femoral canal, located medial to the femoral nerve, artery and vein. A hernia is either reducible or irreducible. A reducible hernia can be returned back into the abdominal cavity.